Hello everyone, this is a general overview for how to use the vein anemometer we have here in the commercial lab. Uh, it's stored in this little padded case. It's got three main components. The, uh, the head, the handle, which there's kind of multiple extension capabilities. You have a squiggly, squiggly bit that'll, that'll bend and several sod extenders. You have the connection cable, which skinny end goes inside of here. Important thing to note here is you're going to line up the notch in this bit with the, the insert in this bit so all the pins line up and you just uh, rotate it till it's snug. This end works the same way. Uh, there's a notch. And you stick this in. Rotate that till it's snug. We're going to hit the power button for just a second. It'll synchronize and come on. That's a few seconds, maybe four or five seconds, I don't really remember. And then we have a zero zero reading. This has a flow direction on the end, you can see it there. So if we blow on it, you can see it spinning and the readout come here. If you need to change the batteries, uh, you pull out these two screws in the back and it takes a few double A's, I don't remember how many exactly. Uh, there's also a therm, therm, thermal couple on it, so it'll measure the temperature. And it's important to note that you don't want to use this in particle laden or grease laden flows because the, uh, the bearing, the internal bearing will get gummed up. So for all the safety procedures and other features that go with this, uh, you can read the owner's manual. Currently it's still in the box. This may get moved to another cabinet later. But uh, this is just a general overview for how to use it. I hope you found this useful, and have a good day.